Top news continues with the fight over abortion rights. Reaction is growing across the country a day after that bombshell leak of a Supreme Court draft opinion overturning the landmark Roe v. Wade decision. Today, Pennsylvania governor's governor addressed the issue during a visit to Philadelphia. Thanks for being with us this afternoon. I'm Tracy Davidson. I'm Jacqueline London. We know the leaked draft opinion was deemed authentic and battle lines are already being drawn. While investigators continue to search for whoever leaked that document, everyone from lawmakers to advocates to Americans on both sides of the issue are plotting their next move. NBC 10's Laura Make spoke to Pennsylvania's governor today about what's ahead, Lauren. Pennsylvania is one of those states where there are big questions here. Yeah, guys, there's already been legislation passed in Pennsylvania that would place limits on abortion during Governor Wolf's term, but he vetoed those bills. His term is ending, though, just as states could get the power to completely ban abortion. We need to be clear. This is going to be a fight. Governor Tom Wolf today predicting what's next in the abortion debate that just reached a fever pitch, with a leaked draft opinion showing the Supreme Court poised to strike down Roe v. Wade. The leaked opinion from the Supreme Court is a gut-wrenching blow to our freedoms. Wolf today joined by Planned Parenthood and Democratic lawmakers near Independence Hall as policy collided with politics. I know we're here on official business, but we know what we've got to do. With Wolf in the last year of his last term, Pennsylvania voters will choose a new governor this year. Republican candidates, including Bill McSwain, have promised to support legislation restricting abortion. I'm a pro-life uh, individual. I'll be a pro-life governor. I will sign legislation to protect the most vulnerable among us, the unborn. The primary election is in two weeks. I will be a pro-life governor, and I think that's what Pennsylvania wants and needs right now. Wolf saying while he's in office, abortion will be safe and legal. What are you doing at this point, at this moment, to prepare for the possibility that someone will take your place who will not feel the same way? I, I think the, that's a great question, and the, the answer is elections have consequences. What I'm doing is working very hard to make sure a pro-choice governor becomes governor of yeah. Pennsylvania. Wolf is backing Attorney General Josh Shapiro, the only Democrat running for governor. We caught up with him in Center City. We know that the next governor will have a bill put on their desk that bans abortion in Pennsylvania. Each and every one of my opponents would sign it into law. I will veto it and protect a woman's right to choose here in Pennsylvania. Beyond vetoing any bills like that, would you want legislation that sets out to protect abortion rights passed into law in Pennsylvania? Without question, I'd like to see Roe codified, ideally at the federal level, and certainly I'd like to do it at the state level. But with the construct of the legislature today, run by Republicans who want to ban abortion, the most important thing I can do, God willing, as Pennsylvania's next governor, is just defend the right that exists today. And Governor Wolf today also encouraged Congress to pass the Women's Health Protection Act that would spell out abortion rights it already passed the House once, but it failed to make it through the Senate. I'm Lauren Make, NBC 10 News. Lauren, thank you. So 